Welcome back, nerds. I thought about just skipping these two because of how straightforward the strategies for these are, but that'd be leaving a job mostly but not quite done. So, screw it. Let's blow them away. Sherlock's big gimmick is that he's really hard to damage for five turns, with both NP damage resistance and general defense buffs, neither of which are removable. You could try to speedrun these with crits and maybe some help from your own Sherlock, but the man gets extremely dangerous in Phase 2 with a Ramping Arts buff, so if you barely squeak into Phase 2 and run out of gas while his protection is still up, you're looking at a dead run. And since we're going by tower rules, you really don't want to commit more than the bare minimum servant-wise anyway. What I'd recommend instead is playing grab ass for 5 turns with a dummy frontline. Whoever you want, as long as you're confident they can survive for a few rounds. Then, once time is up, use the old Caldea combat uniform to swap Mysterious Ranmaru X or another Avenger in. You can even cheat yourself an advantage by swapping out anyone that has 3 or more cards in your current hand, since those will become Ranmaru cards once you complete the swap. On the turn you pop Sherlock's final bar, consider stunning him with your Mystic Code. He gains a nasty attack buff in his final phase, and you want him to sit still while you get a cheap shot in. If you have taunters available, like Deon, this is also a good place to have them taunt so they can take Sherlock's abuse while Ron Murrow finishes the job. QED. As for the finale, this can either be trivial or a nightmare depending on how you solve the other fights. If you followed my strategies, it should be an absolute walk in the park since I deliberately kept Castoria in reserve. This means you can just arts loop the entire fight. Understand that the Mega Coil finale represents one of the OG styles of Challenge Quest, where they just throw a bunch of servants at you with their basic skill sets. We had a lot less to work with at the time, especially if you weren't whaling, so these could be decently challenging. Now though, we have all sorts of power picks at our disposal. Summer Musashi in combination with Castoria will utterly obliterate this fight. You can even go for a fast start if you have Nero Bright available, or another unused charger. Space Ishtar, same deal but with less upfront charge required. Summer Kama, more or less the same. But if you want to spice it up a little, Tyron no Kagekyo can solo this entire fight single-handedly. I bet Van Gogh could as well. If you want to go really old school with it, you can just dump whatever you have left with Bon Heracles as your finisher. This finale isn't a challenge so much as it is a test of your resource allocation. If you overcommit it in the previous fights, you get punished here. Let me know what you ended up using for these fights and stay tuned. I have a Giga Coil guide in the works, so subscribe if you want to get that fresh out of the oven.